The Minnesota Vikings have made their first free agent signing of the offseason, and it's a familiar name as former Minnesota Vikings defensive end Steve Weatherly is once uh, again current Vikings defensive end Steve Weatherly announcing on the gram that he's back in the Twin Cities for round two. Rushman! Weatherly had signed a two-year, $6 million deal with the Panthers last offseason in free agency. They cut him a few weeks ago, hence why he's able to sign now before the start of free agency. And I think it's a really smart move. So let's talk about Stephen Weatherly today. Background, 26 years young, 6'5", 265, former 2016 seventh-round pick coming out of Vanderbilt, and was a lengthy, toolsy outside linebacker, edge rusher coming in. Uh, a lot to like and a, a perfect uh, Patterson project. Worked his way up, was on the practice squad, and then the Patriots tried to poach him. And uh, uh, Patriots, why are you so obsessed with Andre Patterson's prodigies, huh? I worked his way up from, uh, from a backup special teams player. I became a key rotational player in 2018. Even started six games in place of Everson Griffin uh, when 97 missed that year. Had 36 tackles, 27 pressures, and three sacks. Then came in 2019, him and Afani, who he's still very tight with, uh, as the third and fourth defensive ends behind Everson Griffin and Daniil Hunter. And then the Vikings rotated them in, as well as kicked him inside on passing downs, just trying to generate some sort of interior pass rush uh, after Sheldon Richardson had left in free agency. And that was foreshadowing. I mean, maybe they could have addressed that, but... Mm. Or play James Lynch, but yeah. Uh, but 91 had a solid season, 31 pressures, 20 tackles, four total sacks, including the playoffs. He left in free agency, signed that two-year deal with the Panthers, and he never really found his place in Carolina. Nine starts, 12 pressures, no sacks. They eventually let him go. He had been training with Afadi uh, during the offseason. Maybe Odenabo did some recruiting, and I, I think it's a really smart signing. Uh, he was one of Patterson's original pupils, low-round toolsy guy who rose on up through the system, can play rotational edge can play inside I, I don't think you're going to rely on him to start uh, full time but if he has to spot start that's fine uh, but a dude who's going to get you know, 20 30 snaps a game and be an asset I, I think it is really smart at this stage of the game plus Weatherly speaking of smart is one of the most interesting and cerebral players that I I've ever come across like he's very wise and worldly of course Vanderbilt is a great academic institution and frankly he reminds me of Alan Page where he's going to go change the world after he's done with the game. And football is just kind of a side hustle at this point. But just a really interesting dude. Uh, definitely could have used him last year, by the way. I mean, Afadi and Weatherly would have been an upgrade versus you know wherever they tossed out there. Uh, official numbers aren't uh, out yet, but I'm sure it's not going to be for a lot. Probably going to be a one-year minimal deal. Maybe Weatherly's going to try and uh, rehab his game and then hit free agency next year. Try and get that payday, but we'll see. Uh, but he seems happy to be back home. You know, we're happy to have him. And it, it, this doesn't necessarily change what the Vikings should do in the draft. I, I think they should still go edge if the right one presents itself early in the draft. If Quiddy Pay is there, I do like Aziz, even Gregor Rousseau. That would make sense, even though there will be some overlap of what Rousseau and Weatherly would bring to the table in 2021. Or at minimum, you know, do the usual thing. Uh, spend a late round pick on an athletic freak that needs some refinement and give him to Andre Patterson and see uh, what happens at the end of the day. But Steve Wedley, welcome back. Ah, let's go get it now. Rushmen. Ah. Uh, but your thoughts, Steve Wedley, back in purple. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Most worth that work. Pull something to Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.